Uh, John Campbell, we are debating whether or not there should be any conference title games at all because so many of these conference title games are utterly worthless for anything, frankly, other than gambling. Uh, All five of them really only matter if the favorite gets upset. If Oklahoma loses, if Alabama loses, if Ohio State loses, if Clemson loses, all four of them are playing games that are virtually worthless uh, in terms of actually helping their chances. You can at least argue the Big 12, Oklahoma would be helped, but only if Georgia loses. Um, So when you look at these games, which one are you most excited to gamble on? Uh, probably Utah, Washington, uh, because I think I think Utah can upset Washington here, and I think uh, there's some good money line value in that one. The Friday night game as well, so uh, so that's probably the one for me that I'm most excited about. But but uh, you're right, <laughs> without gambling, these these are kind of lackluster games. It's almost like they're anticlimactic here at the end of the season, but. It's one of those things we, we need to be careful what we wish for. We we want to replay in sports, and now it takes too long. And let's go back to to official judgment. And we wanted championship games, and now we got them, and now we're complaining about them. So uh, I, I just gamble on them and uh, make sure I have some fun with them. If Vegas were setting the four teams for the college football playoff, I think it's clear they would take Alabama. I think it's clear they would take Clemson. Would they take Notre Dame? Would they take Georgia? Who do you think Vegas would tell us the four best teams in college football this year are? I think they would definitely take Notre Dame in there, and uh, I think Ohio State. That's uh, that's probably who I would put in there as well, especially with the way they capped off the season with the win over Michigan. That one matters too. I think for style points, I think if if, if Ohio State blows out Northwestern. Uh, who's won 15 of their last 16 Big Ten games, I think that's going to give them a little bit of a boost and might be able to slide them in there. Should Northwestern not be eligible to play in the Big Ten championship game because they lost to Akron? (laughs) I know Akron's not a Big Ten school, but shouldn't you have like, hey, if you lose to Akron for the first time as a Big Ten school since 1894, (laughs) even if you have a good Big Ten record, you don't get to play for the championship. Unless we're going to make Akron the Big Ten champs if Northwestern wins. Yeah, maybe a rule. If if you lose to a team that's named after rubber boots, then maybe uh, maybe you can't get in there. But North, all Northwestern does is win and cover spreads. They're thirteen and three against the spread in their last sixteen Big Ten games. That was a weird kind of sandwich game uh, where they just they just got caught against an Akron team that can score a little bit. So I don't penalize them too much. I, I just think it was a, a bit of a bad schedule situation maybe for them. We're talking to John Campbell. You can follow him on Twitter at Johnny Oddshark. When you go into the NFL right now, what do you like on the NFL slate? In particular, tomorrow is a pretty big game, right? We got the Saints going on the road against the Cowboys. Saints over a touchdown favorite. How would you play Thursday night football? Well, Thursday night football, uh, you just take the favorite, basically. The favorite is 9-2-2 two and two against the spread this season, and Going back, uh, coming into this season, the Thursday night favorite was covering at 59% and, and doing even better than that this year. So I really don't handicap these Thursday night games too, too tightly anymore because you don't need to. You just, you just take the favorite. But that said, I like the Saints anyway. I like them to win by double digits. And, and, and the big improvement they've made, the one area where they weren't playing well was in the secondary and corner coverage, and they've improved. So much in that area over the last three games. They're, they're allowing 217 yards passing per game over the last three compared to almost 300 on the season. So huge improvement there. I think they beat the Cowboys by double digits. A couple other interesting games in the NFL in terms of games that could have a substantial impact down the stretch in the playoffs. I think the two most interesting are uh, the Vikings against the Patriots and the Chargers against the Steelers. Do you like either one of these sides? The Patriots now around a five-point favorite. The Steelers a little over a field goal over the Chargers. All four of those teams would be in the playoff if the season were ending today. Yeah, I, I, I just don't ever bet against the Patriots. It's, it's, and I do like them to cover this one here. They, they've won 10 straight as a home favorite, and they're 9-1 and one against the spread in those. And all these guys do is seem to cover the spread. Last week it kind of looked like they were in trouble and weren't going to cover, and then of course they do. So I don't bet against the Patriots. I like the Chargers in the other one. I, I, I think this line should be a little bit closer to a pick. I, I like the gritty way the Chargers are playing, and Phillip Rivers was just so efficient last week. He's been playing really well this season. 
But on defense, they've been tough and gritty, and uh, Pittsburgh's run game has kind of gone away the last couple games. So a lot of stress on the pass game. I think that matches up well for the Chargers. Uh, with, with the Steelers laying more than a field goal, I'll, I'll take the underdog in that one. Anything else uh, that is out there gambling-wise that you are interested in as we come in towards the weekend? Well, in, in college football, I like Alabama, Georgia under quite a bit. Uh, we, we talk about Al- under 63. We talk about Alabama's offense all the time, and, and we should, but their defense is incredible as well. Number three, red zone defense. Uh, fourth in defensive touchdown scored as well. They score on defense, and Georgia has a great defense too. So I really like the under in that one, under 63. Um, so, yeah, that's probably the other one in college uh, I like a lot. Outstanding stuff as always. Go follow uh, John Campbell at Johnny Oddshark on Twitter. Uh, and uh, we appreciate you joining us, my man. Thanks, Clay.